After the new SR-99 tunnel opens, demolition of the Alaskan Way viaduct begins. The old roadway along Seattle's waterfront will disappear, section by section. What makes this unique? The close proximity of the buildings, the massive grid of utilities that we're going to be protecting. My name is Dan Hemingway. I'm the project manager for Kewitt Infrastructure West Company. I'm overseeing the demolition of the viaduct. Kewitt has performed many design-build projects, mega projects, including the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, the 520 Bridge, and many more across the U.S. Viaduct demolition will take about six months, starting at the Columbia Street on-ramp and north of Pike Street. The path is dictated by many, many factors, one of those being the upcoming projects at the completion of our work. On the Columbia ramp, the city has plans to reconstruct Columbia. Removing the viaduct on the northern end of the project will allow the waterfront projects to start at the completion of our work. From there, demolition moves roughly south from Columbia and north from Columbia with mobile work zones created in multiple locations. We will have two to three blocks secured off at a time. We have 30 days to get in, do the work, and get out. In a typical double-decker removal plan, we will start with the top deck removals. We'll then remove the lower deck, and following the lower deck removal, we'll remove the columns. And this process is repeated throughout the double-decker viaduct. where we have buildings within five feet of the viaduct. We will remove the girders close to those buildings with a crane. In other cases, we will deploy barriers intended to keep rock from impacting the building. Sensors will ensure noise and vibration will be kept within limits. Controlling dust is a priority. Demolition does make dust. We will be using a lot of water on the project. So we will be collecting that water, uh, testing it, and appropriately discharging it into the King County sewer. During demolition, passengers will be able to get to and from the ferries. The waterfront, Pike Place Market, and Pioneer Square will be open for business. Alaskan Way will be open to traffic all the time. Our goal is to have as little impact as possible. All of that's a big challenge and we are well prepared for it.